Okay, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science Channel Brazil. This is the evening of uh, November the 15th, 2021, here in Central Ohio in the U.S. A big shout out to the uh, eight people who watched this video yesterday. Thanks so much for every single one of those eight views. But what I really like to see now is eight likes to go through those eight views, okay? And of course, as always, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, the share button. And also, you share the video on Facebook and Twitter and emails and text messages. But I also have a special invitation to you folks tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's, that's New York City time. I'll be doing a live streamcast, a live data analytics stream on Twitch at 8 p.m. this evening. There's a link to that stream in, in the description below. Hope to see you in the chat session this evening, okay? That's just... Oh, we can see you for Brazil. You can see the current bill is Brazil has 21.8 million cases. Mm -hmm. Okay, 21.8 million cases, 611,283 deaths. Now, this situation here looks a little bleak because it's your, your, your 21 cases for COVID 19 are close to doubling 2020 cases. But that's just. And deaths, well, your deaths are also pretty close to doubling 2020 deaths. But let's don't panic yet. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the, what the numbers are telling us, okay? So you can see here, you kind of had this kind of meandering or stair-stepping pattern all the way up to here, which is... Uh, So on June the 23rd, the number spiked at 115,228 cases for a single day. That's on June, but by October the 1st, so that's so five months later, right? The data cases have fallen to 4,129, with an average number of cases per day of 10,319 cases. Okay, but this nice declining pattern starting back over here. So let's take a look at deaths for the uh, for the current year. So you can see on April the 8th, your deaths spiked at 4,249 for a single day. But by uh, October the 4th or, or November the 14th, that number had fallen to 61 deaths for a single day, with an average of 234 deaths per day. Okay, that's all due to all this daily volatility. Now we can take a look here at the. Uh, As you can see here, we just, uh, you can see again this long declining pattern for COVID-19 cases, beginning sometime in late June and continuing all the way up until today. Okay, so what, now look at this, look at this nice pattern for deaths again, long declining pattern for deaths. Started, I think, in May sometimes, maybe, then continues to decline all the way down to here. Uh, this line here would be 2,500 deaths for a week. So right now, the uh, Brazil's uh, weekly deaths is below 2,500. Okay. Well, look at look at these monthly numbers now. One, two, three, four. I'm hopeful that, that uh, November will be the fifth month in a row we saw a decline in COVID-19 cases in uh, in Brazil. What about deaths? So look at these deaths here. One two, three, four, five, six. There's a very good chance that November will be the seventh month in a row we see a decline in COVID-19 deaths in the country of Brazil, okay? Okay, Brazil, that takes care of your report for today. Uh, your report for today. I want to invite you again to stop back by this evening at 8 p.m. on for Twitch. There's a link in the description below. I'll be doing data analytics and data visualization tonight. Both, with both big and small data, okay? Hope to see you there again. The description, the, the link to my Twitch channel is in the description below, and it's 8 p.m. New York time, East, Eastern Standard Time, okay? So let's just go ahead and update these. Oh, you know,
Yes, Espania, Espania. You know, I, I looked at Arlen once, okay? But maybe we'll look at it again.